Keith, thank you. According to the Centers for Disease Control, men in this country are at greater risk than women of getting cancer and dying from it. But many often face the disease alone instead of reaching out for help. Yeah, an online community, Man Up to Cancer, was founded by a stage four colorectal patient from Cape Elizabeth. It's seen a big uptick in members during the pandemic, patients and survivors, many in quarantine, looking to connect with others battling the disease. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has more. Nearly three years ago, Trevor Maxwell started suffering from severe fatigue, but chalked it up as life. You know, typical guy, I was just like, well, you know, I'm tired. I'm busy. I have a busy professional life. We have two kids at home. The father of two girls, Sage and Elsie, ended up having a colonoscopy to see what was going on. Trevor, just 41 at the time, never expected to hear this from his doctor. You have a, a very large tumor in your ascending colon. The tumor, which measured nine centimeters and part of his large intestine, ended up being removed. Diagnosed with colorectal cancer, Trevor underwent three months of chemotherapy. But scans showed that the cancer had spread to his liver and abdomen. Despite two surgeries, the cancer kept recurring. Fortunately, a genetic condition made him a good candidate for immunotherapy. The treatment which suppresses the immune system has kept the disease stable. And my tumors have not grown and they're the same. But fighting stage four cancer left him feeling depressed, anxious and isolated. Like I was really broken by this. At the urging of his wife, Sarah, Trevor went to counseling, started exercising and joined a cancer support group on Facebook. But the majority of the members were women. So he decided to start an online community to support male patients like himself on their cancer journeys. When men are diagnosed with cancer, they tend to check out and women tend in general tend to reach out. Trevor launched a website called Man Up to Cancer, a tongue-in-cheek approach to supporting men facing the disease. He also started a private Facebook group called The Howling Place for men and caregivers impacted by all types of the disease, a safe place to share struggles and victories for the very first time. You are better off going through this as a pack um, with, other, with other people who are going through it than you are on your own. You got sick. Your body betrayed you. The people you thought would step up and be there for you, they ran for the door. On his podcast called Stuck in the Man Cave, Trevor tackles topics such as mental health, pain, and relationships. Since January, the group has grown to nearly 1,000 members from across the country and more than half a dozen countries. The podcast has been downloaded more than 5,000 times in 30 countries. A number of male patients and survivors are connecting during the pandemic, which has forced them into quarantine because they are at high risk for COVID-19. Trevor, in the meantime, hopes by letting men know that accepting help is a strength and not a weakness will save lives. There's a lot of strong, tough, bad, awesome dudes out there who are also willing to say, I can't do this on my own. Because no one should go through cancer alone. Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Man Up to Cancer is holding virtual support group meetings twice a month. We're going to have more information and resources available on our website and social media app.